Hello everyone, this is Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations, and you are viewing podcast number 32. Um, it's late in the evening, so the lighting's a little different. I've got, um, my husband bought a lamp or a light that I have above, above me here, so this is going to be our first, um, our first attempt. We'll see how it works out. Um, I'm just going to tell you right off, I don't think I have any finished objects. I haven't really been doing much. Yeah, no. Had some neat issues with a uh, baker cyst that was acting up. Um, and it was, of course, behind my knee that I had replaced uh, last January. So, um, I don't know. Just really didn't, <laughs> didn't finish anything. I've worked on some stuff that I was doing, um, but I haven't finished anything yet. So, I have, I don't know, I have, a, I have several whips. I do have some finished objects, but they're not my finished objects. Um, so I will be showing you those here in just a second. Um, first, I want to welcome everyone back who's been with me from the beginning of my podcasting. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Um, I think now I am at 589. So tomorrow I will be doing the giveaway. I will start it. It will be starting tomorrow and it'll run for one full week. Um, and I'll give you all the details on that tomorrow. And it's going to be pretty exciting. I'm, I mean, I'm just super excited. I mean, like 589, that's just totally amazing. You guys are awesome. I mean, you guys are the reason that I have, uh, so many subscribers. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so, so much for bringing me into your home and listening to me chat about every, anything and everything <laughs> from, um, you know, my kids, my grandkids, um, work sometimes, um, and you know, weather, what have you. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, so it's, it's just really awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm truly blessed and I just wanted to thank you all very much. Um, now speaking of weather, Easter Sunday, yeah, we got two inches of snow. Yeah, it was kind of interesting. It was cold, it was windy, and it snowed. So we had, and we, I thought we had 600 eggs. Um, and before everybody freaks out about that total, that's like on the low side for us. <laughs> So, cause you know, we got lots of kids and little ones running around. Um, but not everyone showed up cause you know, as they, they're getting older families and what have you, they had other plans. So we had a little over 600 eggs and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we put them in the lower level of my home in the family room area. So, and we always do them in, um, in, uh, groups of age. So, and this year the, the youngest one was Jordan. She was four. So we let her go out first. And then, you know, Cameron and then the other kids, we had a few guests that showed up, um, uh, that came with some of our family members. So it was really fun though. The kids had a good time and it's all about, you know, <clears throat> them having fun and remembering why we celebrate Easter in the first place. Um, so that was really, really important. Um, and a lot of people call it resurrection day. To me, that sounds better than Easter, but you know, each person's different. It was just cool. Um, so, <laughs> uh, the snow is almost gone now, <laughs> which is weird to me, but, um, you know, it's just so quick. Usually it takes a day or two, but yeah, 24 hours later, you couldn't even tell it snowed. It was so, it's just weird. Um, anyway, I am sipping my cinnamon tea. This is my Disney cup and yeah, my Disney World cup next year. It's our Disney trip. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah. So anyway, like I said, I don't have any finished objects for me personally. Um, but I, I do have a special guest <laughs> and she has some finished objects and I will let her explain to you all about that. Um, bear with her. This is her very first video, but I wanted to introduce all of my viewers to my daughter, Amanda. Hi guys. This is Amanda. 
Um, so let me start off before I let her kind of get, run her thing. Um, she is doing remarkably well. And I wanted to thank everyone for all their prayers and their comments. Um, it's really, really great to be part of a community that would pray or, you know, even make comments of well wishes and getting better for my daughter. And you guys don't even, you know, we've never met. So I think that's wonderful. Um, you know, all the issues that we had right after her surgery when she was sent home. Um, but she's better. So I thought I would include her in my podcast today. We might do this um, sporadically. We might do this, you know, once a week because she has taught herself how to knit. She's still at the learning process. Um, but like I said, she's got three finished objects that I will let her talk to. They're not all knitting. There are two crochets and one knit. Um, and then I've got some finished objects. We also have some yarn. Not finished. Work in progress. Not finished. Oh, yes. We have some whips. I explained to her what a whip was. <laughs> so, yes, we have some whips also. And, um, yeah, we've got a yarn haul. As I uh, told you guys in my last podcast, me and my oldest daughter, Jessica, and Amanda, and Abby, because she'll be looming. She doesn't crochet. We are working on, like, a mother-daughter project. It's kind of like a crochet along that we're just doing just for ourselves. It's not... Anything that we saw popped up, I just thought it would be nice um, because we don't see each other all the time. And my oldest daughter lives in, um, yeah, in outside of Springfield, Illinois, which is a little over an hour away. And I just thought it would be nice to work on something together. I think we have agreed <laughs> that we're going to use mandala yarn um, and we're going to do a shawl, probably a virus shawl. Might just be a regular one. She's never done a shawl before. I mean, and she crochets. She's been crocheting since she was about 9 or 10. Um, so once we have that picked out, we'll, you know, I'll let you guys know exactly what that is, um, you know, pattern-wise and all that good stuff. So <clears throat> I'm going to give you over to Amanda, and she can show you what she's working on. Um, and anything, any patterns that she mentions, we will link um, in the notes below so you guys can kind of click on that and, and head over there if there's something you're interested in doing, okay? So, here's Amanda. <laughs> um, <coughs> where to start? Start wherever you want. Well, I'll show off my pups, my puff stitch hat. It's, I don't know, it's my second one. And I love um, it. Do you remember what yarn you used? Nope. Uh, Tropical this, something. <laughs> this is um, Bernat Softy Chunky Yarn. That she's that she used. She would know. And this is her second puff stitch. I know that because she hated doing hats, hated them, and I was like, just do a hat. It's not a big deal. So I had her do a cute little um, newborn hat. She used the puff stitch, and um, at the you, it was brown. Yeah, it had it like was some brown with a cute little with a cute little pom -pom. colors. In I don't it. even have a picture. What a mom, huh? But um, it sold at a craft show, so I was super excited. I said, you got to make another one. So I gave her some leftover yarn to see um, how she would do with Chunky, because she never made a Chunky yarn hat. Yep. Now she has. Turned out great. <laughs> mm. Now wait, give me, that, give me that back. Let's see. Now explain what you did to the brim. Well. And I like, look, I'm, I'm just kind of taking over. I, look at that the... brim. So a lot of, I know a lot of you, you uh, us crafters, I guess, um, this is the... Back post? Yeah, or back, it's the back loop. The back stitch. loops. Mm -hmm. So this is a back loop stitch. So you did this first? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, and I, I kind of started out as if it was like... A headband. Like, yeah. Okay. More yeah. like ear covers for when it's cold outside. Because that's about... I use my son's big giant head for it. But He does have a big head. <laughs> so I did that and then I worked my way up from there. Okay. I like the way it finished. Yeah, it I think it turned out really good. You did great. Yeah, and she finished the top really nice with this nice little back loopy swirl. Right. So it's good and sealed. Pom pom, no pom pom. We don't know. Um, <laughs> I guess I can show off my slippers. I made some spa slippers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, you can see that really well. Yeah. She likes the line eye, the lady that, that um, commissioned yeah. her to make those. So that's why they're in. I made these for the very first time, and it didn't turn out the first time very well. They were giant, probably about this big. They were huge, and then I had to do it. And this is my fifth pair that I made successfully, and I'm working on another pair. So. 
Now, you put um, inside the sole part right here. Batting and, in um, canvas. Right. So it's good and canvas. it's good and stiff. Yeah. So I wanted to make sure that you pointed that out. Yeah. And they feel really good. They feel really nice. I mean, they feel like slippers. I like crocheted. <laughs> so I'll be, I'll be Havana. There mm -hmm. you go. So there we go. <laughs> um, and then my very <coughs> first me. project for knitting was my dad spying on us. Oh, <laughs> my husband, he's, he's going to get him something to eat. So he's waving it through the window. But my very first project for knitting was a very tiny scarf. I don't know how well. Oh yeah, you can see that really good. The lighting yeah, is great it's... here. There you go, Vanna. Oh, I get to wear it. I get to wear the scarf. I'm bad. Very first person to wear my scarf. Oh, it's just so it's so stretchy. I just it love is. it. It's really cool. But it's not. I mean, so it's not too terribly long. Uh uh But I, but it's not bad. But I like it. Figure it's my, keeping, yeah, my it's son keeping or my, my daughter can wear it. You know, keeping my neck warm. There you Ooh, go. Look at that. Whew, I couldn't do it. Awesome. But and um, I'm waiting to figure out what's next. <laughs> but this is not like the knit and purl. It's just simply so it's just a knit. just a knit. She didn't do. I don't so know it's how the I same on, to do that, but it's same on both sides. I know that's pretty cool. I'm just super proud of her because you guys know that I've tried knitting twice and it just isn't my thing. So for now, I'll try it again later. <laughs> just not right now. And she just picks up some random needles that I had. I might want to add and. She said, I think I'm going to, I want to learn how to knit, so. Yeah, I watched, I watched like 20 seconds of a video. Um, I wish I could remember the lady's name because she was absolutely wonderful, very, very informative. And um, just went from there and I got hooked. And then <coughs> I Excuse me. did my research and I found out that I didn't knit and purl. I was just doing the knit. So the knit and purl is my next project. I don't know what it's going to be, but. It'll, it'll come soon. So there you go. Yep. And that's, that's it. Now we've got some other stuff that we want to show you, but I'm going to show you my whips first because, or my whips, and then we'll, we'll move on to the next part. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I haven't finished anything at all. Uh, I worked some more. Oh, thank you, honey. You're welcome. <laughs> thank her. It's, I'm, I'm not used to sharing, <laughs> sharing my video time, but it's kind of nice. I was going to say, so you're again, used to sharing, just not your video <laughs> I took stuff out of my project bag. For those of you who are who are new, this was a, a craft swap that I did with Yarn Joy Podcast. Her name is Terry, and this was my very first craft swap that we did. And she made me some really cool project bags. I told her I liked Star Wars. Look at how big that is. It holds so far. It was able to hold three work in progress scarves, yarn, everything. It's just great. I love it. So, and then I have this one. She made me this one. And the work in progress here is still my shawl. Haven't really done much to it, guys. This is Mandala Centaur. And this is what I have so far. This, <clears throat> excuse me. This is just a basic um, granny stitch. And so it's just going to be, you know, just a basic triangle. Um, this one I will probably fringe. But as you, if you've worked with Mandala, you know that it's a three-ply yarn. So it's, it's going to be pretty drapey once you're done. So I like it. And this is the, whoops, I can get it out of here. So this is that one. So I'll put that in there. And, okay, if I can get it back in there without messing anything up. All right, so there's that one. I had my, um, where's my other one? What you looking for? With the hearts, my other bag. Whoa, okay. Oh, I don't, oh she moved it. Oh, we, we were making room. Stuff. So this is my heart project bag, which I love. And yeah, so this is the sock that I was working on. Crystal bag of bag of uh, bag of day crochet. And this is it's you know it starts off by making the front and back post for the the I guess the ankle part of your leg, and then several rows, and then you do this. So I, this wasn't so together when I showed it to you last time. So I do have the heel taken care of. So now I just have to, you know, get the rest done. So it's not looking too bad. Um, it's, it's very slow. It's not really, um, I'd never made a sock before. I do like the colors. The colors are awesome. And I plan on giving this to Abigail or to these when I'm done. But, um, 
You guys know I like working on things that, that are just, I don't know. I like hats. I'm definitely a, a hat maker, that's for sure. So, <laughs> those are two whips. Two, two, two. And then I was showing you guys um, the Yarn Bee Urban Chic yarn that I bought at Hobby Lobby in Barrie. And um, it's still just... <laughs> Hold that side, honey. It just keeps continuing to grow. I'll hold it up. That's where I made the stitch marker. So it starts off, it's very pointy. And there we go. So I figure once I'm done with this, um, with this ball, and this is just the second ball so far, then I'll be finished. And I think I'm just gonna put tassels on the three, just the, the two on the, and the one at the bottom. That's it. Nothing real, nothing real major. I'm not, I'm not really big on fringe or anything. So I figure I'll put tassels on because I would really like to keep this one for myself because I just <laughs> really like the way it's turning out. So, um, so it's the same whip. I just wanted to show you that I am, <laughs> that I have been working on it. Um, it's only been a couple of rows, but whatever. So I was using <laughs> the. Let's see. I know it's here. This is the Premier Sweet Roll in Pixie Pop. Okay. Um, I'd started a scarf and I was, uh, I don't know if it was last podcast. Might have been the one before that. But I was telling you that it was really wide and I didn't really like wide scarves. So I worked on it a couple more rows and I just wasn't feeling it. So I frogged it. Started completely over and I thought I was looking. Um, I was looking online for something to, to do, and they're really cute colors, and I thought um, I would make a blanket, and then Jordan saw and thought that it was for her. You guys know how that works, right? So I'm going to make her a granny square cardigan, um, and I haven't really picked a particular... I'm not using a pattern because it's just really basic. You just make a, a big granny square. It's like a shrug. I say cardigan, but it's more of a shrug. Um, it's not like the campfire cardigan, which I'm I'm definitely going to make one of those. But it's just a big granny square that you make. And then you fold it in half. Sew enough on sides on this down here for the arms. Okay. So I'll sew it maybe about halfway for her to put her arms through. And then, and then it like kind of opens up like that. But... <clears throat> if I find a picture or something of it or or a link of one, I'll I'll put it down below. But um I should have just brought mine. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Cause my Jessica made her one for Christmas. So yeah, I didn't even think about that. But I really like the colors. I mean, look at those. Those are gorgeous. I mean, they really do. I mean, Pixie Pop, it math I mean it's it's uh that's pretty good. So I really do like it. So that's whip number three. Um, okay, so whip number four on Yarn for Less on Instagram, <laughs> um, they had, they had Wool Ease line brand yarn for $4.99, so I bought several, and this was like, oh, I don't know, this was right around Christmas time that I, that I ordered it, and I'm just now starting to kind of use them all, and I thought it would make a really nice blanket. Now, I don't normally make baby blankets out of wool. I, I just don't. So will this stay like this? I don't know. I, I just have no idea. I might just frog it and make, uh, you know, mommy and me hats or something. But um, I started, this is, I think the linen stitch where it's like a, a single crochet, chain one, skip one, single crochet, chain one, skip one. So, and I started with a chain uh, of... This is chunky yarn. I think this was 60. I think it was a chain of 60. So, and like I said, so far so good. And it's not like it isn't soft, but I just, I, I'm just not sure about wool blankets and babies. You guys give me some feedback on that, will you? Um, does anyone use wool for baby yarn or for baby blankets? Because I, I never have. So maybe this might just be, you know, something I use for... Um, a scarf or a hat. So we'll see. What it's do you think? Like perfect length to turn into a cow. It is good length for a cow. You're right. So I could do that instead of taking it all the way out. Yeah. So she's right because if I just do it, and you know, if 
I do it in half, maybe give it some fringe or something or put a point on it, it would it would definitely make a good cowl. So there you go. Thank I you, Amanda. You're welcome. I'd wear it. I would, I would definitely totally do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My my last and final whip <laughs> is that I've just been on a scarf kick. I don't know what it is. So um, I, maybe because I make so many hats all the time and I thought I would start making something different. Now I did start this a while back using Karen Cakes and I think this is Strawberry Truffle. Oh, Strawberry Truffle it says. Truffle. But I really liked the color. Didn't remind me of strawberries at all because it's like a peach color, ivory, um, and like tan maybe a light taupe or something, but I just thought it was really cute. I love these colors. So I've got this much left, I'm still working on it. And I'm using an eye hook. So this one, <laughs> and I'm hoping uh, wherever it ends, I might have to, I don't know, we'll see how, how it looks. So this is from one cake and I'm, oh, where's it at? I'm just making a mess. I'm doing it so that I don't want this thing to come, to come out when I think I'm losing the battle. So, yeah. So, there we go. And this, again, is just another triangle shawl. And so... Oh, that's pretty, though. Isn't that nice? I do like the colors. And they are working up very nicely. So, you guys see that? And so, if you figure one more cake, and it would be it'll be a good size. It'll be just perfect. And I'll save enough for, um, uh, not fringe, but tassels on each end. But, yep, I really, really like this one. So hopefully I'll have it finished. But look at those. Worked up nice. And, like again, that's Karen Cakes Strawberry Triffle. There's that one. Okay. <laughs> so that is the end. So that's one, two, three, five whips. And then hers, her, and then hers. <laughs> Look at my like, and then hers, <laughs> and then Amanda's stuff. But I'm, yeah, to decide. I know, right? But I'm just like super excited that that she got that done. So um, we do have some yarn. Okay, well, by by we, I I mean me, but yarn. Oh my god! I Every come to time, her house to steal it. She does. Every time I say that I'm not gonna buy any dang yarn, I go to a sale. <laughs> Oh, it's funny because I told my husband, I'm going to go to the store. I got some projects to do. And he goes, is that the store of the Larks or is it the store of like Walmart? And he's like, um, I'm thinking my mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right. I mean, I can't help it. It's just what I do. So, <laughs> so, um, I did want to thank Randy of Random Randy's Ramblings because she buys a lot of the ice yarns and I really like the colors that she was showing. Um, so I thought I would give it a try and I am totally amazed at their shipping process because I ordered it one day, two days later, my bag was here. I, I was, I was like, wow. Um, and we've taken one out of each one I've ordered. Um, most of them come, the smaller skeins that I'm going to show you come in 50 grams packages of eight. And then we have one larger one. The largest one that I'm going to show you came in a pack of four. It's 100 grams. Um, a pack of four skeins. Um, and yeah, that's it. So all the rest of, are, are going to be in a pack of eight. I took one out of each so I wouldn't have to show you through the plastic packaging because the glare would be like ridiculous. So I will let Amanda show you what I got. Um, and now see that that to me, what, what's the color? It, well, the names are super weird, so forgive me if I mispronounce one of two. But this one is Air Alpaca Super Fine. So there's that. And this one, okay, it's almost so. almost like pink. It's just pink. I'm sorry. It does. It does look pink. Oh, there. Look, I'm holding it upside down. I guess that would be great. So it is 40% Alpaca Super Fine, 13% Merino Wool, mm. and 47%. Poly, I'm gonna say that wrong. Polyamide, maybe? I don't know. But it feels nice. I like, I really do like the way it feels. Um, that would be a good slipper. And I, I don't know anything about um, ice yarns other than I really liked what Randy would show when um, 
she would show her yarn haul from there. So I cannot wait to get started. But yeah, that's it. It kind of looks pink, but then it doesn't because to me, does it's that coral, look coral yeah, It kind of looks kind of coral, so or salmon, which, whichever. But I liked it. Your doorbell's ringing. Oh, the doorbell's ringing. I don't. Hmm. I don't know who it might be. Who are you expecting? Somebody? Uh, <laughs> nope. Cactus Tropical, my favorite. I don't know if you can really. It's pretty. I like it. I'm gonna, okay, I'll be back. Someone's at my door, I don't know. You're leaving me? I'm gonna leave her. No, don't go, do it. Go, you'll be fine. Okay. I'll be back, I'll be back, she'll be fine. I'm not gonna attempt to, to say this name, but I'll show it to you, if you can see that. Oh yeah, there you go. So, basically, it's white and browns and tans. It's nice, let's see. 50% cotton and 50% acrylic, which is the same as the... Cactus Tropical, which is that one. Um, and then there's just the, let's see here, the light tan, this is the same, 50 grams of light tan, I, I suppose. Back. Yay! You was your me. dad. Oh. He had a lot in his hand, so he needed some, he needed some help getting back in because he went get, to get dinner. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Then, this is life. It happens. Um, and then there's red, just a bright, beautiful red. Oh, I love that color. And it's honestly Isn't that, I mean, look at that. than it's the other beautiful. three that I showed. I just loved it. It's much softer. Whatever yeah. the difference is. 50, it's 50 grams? Yeah, it's 50 grams, but what's, <gasps> what's the mixture of it? Um. Acrylic and whatever, the poly, whatever. I, see? <laughs> I don't know. It's, I, it's softer. Yeah, it's that poly, whatever but, she says. So these four... <laughs> Come in packages of eight. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Five. <laughs> this also comes in packages of eight. I know, right? We forgot all about that one. Um, and then there's Baby Magic is all it says. It's 100 grams. And um, it's 100% oh. baby acrylic. Look at those super, colors. Super, super cute. Love the colors. White, gray, and pink. Um, but this one's the one that comes in the package of four. This one I'll be making um, a Baby Layette set. I haven't found a pattern that I wanted, but I just thought, wouldn't isn't that going to be adorable? Maybe one of the the dresses that I make, headband, blanket, something. I will definitely make something out of that. But I just thought it was so so pretty. You know those what are they called? The baby cozies, with the little animal on top, and it's like a little yeah, blanket. Yeah, a lovey. Yeah. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> that make would a be couple cute of too. them, or just a big lovey. Cameron had a big one. Big yeah, giant. he did. Yeah. Like you're it was right. practically a blanket, and the other end he snuggled with. Yeah. You could do that. They're good for that. Babies love that stuff. I think it's great. Well, just one of my babies love that stuff. Mm -hmm. The other one could be so, mom. That's that is it for my <laughs> ice yarn haul. Um now our next one is Hobby Lobby? Yes. We ordered some stuff online and this is more of a replenishment because there are several items that I make on my shop and I use the same colors a lot. Um and I, it's not that I'm steering clear of Red Heart yarn, but I really like Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn. Um, so when they had their 30% off sale, uh, I took advantage of it. So <laughs> so if the box came, here we go, guys. <laughs> so there's two of each, right? Yes, two of each, and then I've got something to go with this one. So this, this one, this color is Hot Orchid, and there it is. Look at that gorgeous color this is and Amanda is gonna look yes so um this goes fantasy heck if I know where's the name of it oh <laughs> it's right there She's right, fantasy <laughs> I see I buy these yards all the time so this these are the ones that are gonna go with that one and I ordered two skeins of each so but see they complement each other very well so I got those and then you guys have already seen these. I think they just kind of snuck in there. But I'm gonna ask her why I bought these to see if she knows her mom. So this is, of course, the line brand Rust. It is a beautiful shade. I love it. It's I don't know. It's I just love this color. So what do you think I use this for, Amanda? That would be for your gingerbread hats. That's correct. These are for my gingerbread hats. <laughs> I would remember because we made them overnight. Yeah. So, okay. So, a while back, 
last January, um, they were doing a play in New York and she noticed my Gingy hats on my shop and she asked me if I'd be able to make her 50 hats total. She ordered 30 Shrek hats and 20 gingerbread hats um, and she needed them. Um, she gave me like four weeks notice. Um, largest sale I've ever had. I was super stoked. Of course, I agreed to do it. And so when, you know, we were crunching, I had Jessica working on some stuff. She was working on some of the gingy hats, actually. And this one, Amanda made. All Good the job. eyes and the mouth. She was, yes. And the ears for Shrek. And My gosh, we were like up to here and yarn. It was, it was everywhere. A very it was tedious process. It was so, so funny. But you know what? It was fun. And I loved it because. You know, I took this order and I called my girls up and I'm like, look, I just got this order for 50 hats and, um, you know, I, I would make the Shrek hats and then I would make the ears and then <laughs> Jessica would make some of the gingy hats and then Amanda took care of all the eyes and the mouths and the eyebrows. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the eyebrows. <laughs> Don't forget the eyebrows, I know. She didn't like doing that at all. But I was like, no, just do it. It'll be But fun. how often do you get to stay up and pull an all-nighter with you? Oh, mother? boy, did we pull an all-nighter. It was so much fun, though. I mean, we were just like, ugh, my hands were like so cramped for making the same stuff over and over. But it was a blast. <laughs> so, all right, so that's what that was that one. And these were, I don't know if I told you guys, but I found these on sale at... Joanne Fabrics, when I went to use my 60% off coupon, um, they were $1.99, and they were clearanced out. I don't know why. So I got to find this color because, yeah, I saw a lot of gingy hats. So they only had three skeins, but I bought them all. All right, so what do we? What else do we have? And each one that we're going to show you, it's <laughs> I bought two skeins of each color. So we're just going to show you one, though. <laughs> okay, so this denim one. Denim ombre. Yeah, this is the denim ombre. Um... The Urban Chic, Urban Chic, not a cardigan. I think it's an Urban Chic Shrug, maybe? Probably. Cocoon Shrug, um, adult size. Anyway, I got this. My sister-in-law, um, Jackie, she's a big Dallas fan like I am. And I got this because it looks like Dallas colors. So I'm going to make her uh, one of those shrugs that I've been making. And this one. So this is the color that she chose. So this has already got a project in line. And I bought two of these, but I already had some. This is going to take... Um, she wanted an extra large. And it's going to take about maybe eight to 900 yards to make it. And this one skein is 252 yards. So I knew I was going to need some more because I only had a few here. So now I've got enough. Um, that I'll make that and then, you know, whatever, then some. <laughs> but yeah, and she also wants me to put a white star, so I'll be doing that. But if you look, it just looks really neat. And even though it's denim, by the time you get the star on there, it's going to look like Dallas colors. So, or like a Dallas shrug. So there's that. <laughs> <clears throat> and this one, Amanda, just so you know. <laughs> this is, you guys know this. If you've been following me since the beginning, you know this is her favorite color. Um, she likes coral. So this one is called Coraline. How fitting, right? Isn't that pretty? So I will be giving this to Amanda to make something. And so she's got two skeins. And I think they're around the same. Don't expect anybody to buy that one. <laughs> 252 yards. So, yeah. So this one, that's for her. So there you go. So you got to remember, you can take that one home. Do whatever you want to with it. This one is Oasis Beat, and it is one of my favorites because I use this to make mermaid tails. That's what this one is going to be. So this is going to be a mermaid tail that I have, and it's just really pretty colors. I love it. And this is going to be for a toddler, so two is plenty because she's. I think she's three. Well, she's going to be three, so this will be good. So there's two of that one. My favorite. <laughs> this is your favorite. Mm -hmm. And this one is Night Watch. That's what this one is called. Just and it's really color. pretty because it's got like teal and um, like a light teal and a dark. And then this really deep, deep purple. I don't know if you can see. You should be able to see that. There you go. It's just really, really pretty. So, 
That'll make yeah. a really pretty blanket. I need um, a queen size bed to put that on. Yeah, I have no idea why. I'm sure there was it was there was a reason, but I really liked the color, and I was wanting to. And I think I bought a purple, a deep purple. I have a deep purple to, that's gonna match with that. Well, let's check your inventory. <laughs> you have a deep purple. It is right there. Oh, yep, yep. There it is. That one right there. Isn't that awful? So that's good. <laughs> I wish I had the room for all that inventory. Well, maybe not. It's it sometimes is not. It's not all scraped up to be because they're like, why are you buying more yarn? You've got plenty. But, you know, when I sell so many items and then I'm running low, like this green right here, I bought all of that right there. That is, I love this yarn in Lime, Limelight? Yeah. Yeah. Because um, that's what I used to make my Shrek hats. And I got mm -hmm. another order today. No, no, no. The yeah. ones next to it are the ones you use No, for yeah, that's, that's Glow Worm. I don't even know what I'm... That's glow worm that I'm pointing at right now, if you can see. That right there Here. is... Let the Vanna handle her job. <laughs> this video's all over the place this today. <laughs> yes. So what color is that one, honey? The, well, I don't is know. It, there's, oh, there's plenty there. Just, I think it's... I don't know. Come out. Come out. Limestone. <laughs> I'm not editing any of this out. I'm just telling it's, it's you. It's limelight. She it is limelight. She okay. wasn't kidding. So, yeah. So, um, uh, when I was at work, my phone was sitting on the table, um, and the register goes off. That's the noise it makes when, I'm at, when I have a sale in my Etsy shop. Um, and my, my assistant looked at me and I, she's like, what did you sell? What did you sell? She gets so excited. I just love it. It's so awesome. Um, but I, you know, I, I get the same way cause I love to see where my stuff is going. And this one is going to France guys, a Shrek hat going to France. I just got the order today. So, um, I'll be, <laughs> she says you're welcome because it's her picture that's on my Etsy shop. I, I should put her dad back up there and you know, <laughs> I don't know. I take him down, put her up, and just sound like crazy. So, um, it's the eyebrows. Don't let him fool you. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Back to the yarn at hand. Back to the yarn. Old glory. Yeah. Be good for independence, too. Yeah, that's why I got that. I'm like, I didn't have any, I didn't have a lot of yarn that had all three in there. So, yeah, I thought that would be really neat. It's pretty. So, that's not too bad, right? And it's still, it's still super soft. Okay. Okay. I'm done. Oh, my pile is. Gonna, my pile Kit, is why don't you hand that here and okay. I'll put it back in the okay, box. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> and then you can show this because it's all plain and blah, and I don't want to hand it. It's you. plain and blah. Well, I I mix a lot of um, variegated yarn with creams and ivories and white, and I needed more cream. So that's what this is. That's exactly the name of it. It's cream. And it's, I love this yarn. It's a seven ounce skein. Let me see if I can get a little closer. There we go. That's just a really pretty color. But if, and if you, a, a, I think it's a pretty shade of cream. It is. If you mix it with um, like a, a baby sport weight yarn, because a lot of times it's got the cream background, it looks really nice. Because it's, then you worked with two skeins together and then you have this hint of color with the cream and it's just a really nice look. I like it. There's Venna. <laughs> Okay, so this next one is definitely one of my favorite ones. The colors are amazing. This one, what color? Sea spray. Sea spray. Look at that one. It is pretty. It's Isn't still not, that... I mean, you know. Yeah. It's maybe and I did... fourth on the list of my favorites. I I have this one to go with it. Do, do we have the it teal? there? Yeah. I have a teal one to go with this Your one. Teal um, is... So this one, is this the blanket that I'm making? I think you have the sparkly uh, teal to go with that. I can't remember. Because that's the only one that may... Ma oh, no, there it is. It's way over there. So so these are going to be... <clears throat> because I'm, you know, I'm trying to think ahead. And um, I wrote colors down for people that said, Hey, can you make me this? So one liked teal and purple. And I thought this would be perfect for one of those um, cocoon shrugs again. So I guess it would be which one's more dominant because if teal is more dominant in this, right? You don't want to mix it with teal, right? You probably the want to go the purple. Off, off. I think the purple would probably be really nice. With you could that do one. periwinkle because the with the how it mm -hmm. turns in. It yeah, you like could periwinkle color. Yeah, you certainly could. Not like I know my colors or anything. Mm -hmm. That's just silly. Um, gosh, is that is that? Oh, and then I got some cotton more cotton. Yarn. So I have another craft show coming up April twenty first. 
and just regular all orange um i you know what and i had is there um a heart-shaped folder there's a heart-shaped <laughs> folder i know and i'm i'm in the process of moving stuff around now back there that doesn't change you'll see some of the colors shifting around because i move them a lot um but <clears throat> excuse me i moved it oh here it is I wanted to oh, show you. Oh, I was going to say, I moved it, and I don't know what I did. <laughs> I found it. So everybody knows I love hearts, so look at this folder. <laughs> I love it. And this was actually given to me by my boss, which I thought was really sweet. So, but yeah. So let me show you if it's in here. There it is. So I bought this yarn. I'll show you the yarn first, and then I'll show you the pattern so you know what I'm going to do. Um, and I already had the middle section. So I got just orange. I like mixing and matching. When I sold out of um, a lot of, not sold out, but I, when I sold a lot <coughs> of my dishcloths at the March um, craft show, yeah, the one in Mount Zion, oh, I can't okay. even talk. So um, I, I did them two for five dollars. Three, three dollars for one dishcloth or two for five. So two for five obviously sold better. So I liked doing one single or one solid color single and then one variegated color. As a, as a set. So I thought that would look good. So that's the orange one right there. And this one was just, ran I have, it's a lighter, see how much different? This, this almost looks peach. This color though, what is this color called? Um, Celio Ombre. That's what it's called. It reminds me of my kitchen. So, yeah, the you know what? My it does look like her kitchen. Hmm, I have like idea. that color and blues and browns and yeah, teal. you do. Well, turquoise. And I've got three other cotton ones that I thought would look nice together. So I've got like this, and it's just hot. Pink. Oh, bright pink, and then we've got the pink ombre, and then just a light pink. Well, this doesn't um, do it justice. We have to show it a little closer. <laughs> yeah, see, it's got the little swirly part in it. But I thought on top of making the regular square dishcloths, right? I would make this one. And this is a pattern by um, Donnie Spiegel. And it's called a Flower Power Dishcloth. And there it is right there. Um, so, yeah. So, it's just, just a different color. But isn't that cute? And it's just really nice. And I thought, hmm, those would make nice little, nice little dishcloths. Because I really liked it. So, that's, that's what I'll be making. And um, let's see. I had, there was another one in here that I wanted to. I, I thought you'd think I'd have this ready. I I had it. It's my fault. No, it's not your fault. I've I got did it all have it crazy all over the place. So so there was another one. This this is the one. So it's called the Movie Night Cocoon Cardigan. All right. And this is by. Oh, it doesn't. It just says free modern. Free coupon or free coupon, free crochet pattern. I'll have to look and see because I think I got this in from Mama and Stitches. I'm almost positive, but there it is. Okay. So a uh, few of those yarns, the the Dallas color and the denim one. That's that's what this one's gonna be, and probably um, the sea, not the sea spray, but the the last one I showed with the purple and the teal. I thought that would look really oh, cute. The fantasy or the <clears throat> excuse me night so watch. night watch yeah that I thought that would make a good one too and let's see and what else I'm also gonna make some more of the crochet co coffee coaster from repeat crafter me and I showed this to you guys as well so I'll be making more of those for the craft show also and they're super cute they're just Little, you know, shapes of little coffee cups. So there's that, and I'll have all this at the in the description below. But I wanted to look and make sure I wasn't missing anything. So, oh yeah, this I would love to make. <coughs> um, it's called the One Skein Summer Wrap, and it's on the Karen website. And that's what that looks like right there. So that's good. This might be one of the shawls instead of the virus shawl. This could be something. The that summer wrap. For me, easy. You like this better. one? Yeah, this would be. Now that would look really cute. I, I think this might be the one. We might have found it. I think um, this might be the one that the three of us work on. So, hmm. I still think yeah. they got a one up on me because they've already done some. <laughs>
some stuff and I'm well, over here. It's not that bad. Yeah. But, um, it's okay, I will for the slippers that I did, um, you can find that pattern for free on the Bernat website. Okay, so I'll I'll put a link to the Bernat website down uh, the description below when I'm editing this. Um, so you guys can just clink on clink. Clink, you can clink. <laughs> Oi, you can click on the link below and yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. past my bedtime. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, so I have two more things that I got to show you just super quick. And this is mostly for um, Zelda, NRJ, I believe. NRJ, NJR. Oh my gosh. Zelda girl. I totally, I think it's Zelda NRJ3. Um. <laughs> I got to show you. So this is just for her. So if you guys are, uh, if you don't want to see, it's cool. But I like Jack Skellington. Absolutely love the nightmare <laughs> before Christmas. So, so does Zelda. And I wanted to show, <laughs> I just wanted to show my, my Jack again. Isn't that cool? And yeah, it's, my dogs don't want anything to do with it. It's a dog toy, guys. <laughs> my dogs don't like it at all. <laughs> I bet you my bunny would tear oh, it up. Oh my goodness. Though. I made that noise and Coco, our girl, she just looked at me like I was totally out of my mind. Um, yeah, so no. And and it looks <laughs> it's just so cute. He's just a, I don't does it make any noise? Oh, he does. Look at that. <laughs> so it does make a little squeaking noise. But yeah, so these are supposed to be dog toys. First of all, I wouldn't give this to a dog to tear up. He, it's Jack. Isn't he just adorable? This one, of course, is my favorite. So, yeah, I just love this one. What am I going to do with them? I don't know. Give but, them to my, my friend Jillian because yeah, she's they a were, big Jack Skellington fan. They were like at Walgreens. Okay, first of all, they're not going anywhere. They're staying with me. But they were at Walgreens. I'm just like walking past because I went in there to get to grab something really quick. And they were on the clearance aisle. So these were like, I think they were 90% off. And I, I don't even, I didn't think I paid $2 for this. This one, I think, was like, I think they were each like $1.49. But, yeah, it's Jack Skellington. I had to get them. So, there's Zelda. I just wanted to see my, see? Our cuteness. Cute, cute. Okay. I think that's might be it. Did we forget, did we forget anything? I might, I, I don't know. No, anyway. I think we got it all. <laughs> anyway. The only um, thing I didn't bring to show was my blanket, but that wasn't worth it. Yeah, so I did show it. I thought I, do you have a picture of it on your phone? Yes. Okay, so she's working on, and I was giving her scrap yarn. She called it her ugly granny square. It's my ugly granny square blanket. It's hideous. I think it's adorable. No. So let's see if she's got, if she has a picture of it that she can show you guys. Of course I have I, a picture. I thought it was super cute. Oh, is that, that was a good one? one? No, that's a good picture, no, honey. No, this one's the finished one. Okay. So expand it in and show it to him because I think it's really cute. It's just scrap yarn that she's using. But isn't that neat? No, it's hideous. No, it's but that's, not. It's finished. I only added one more row of the, the yellow right there, and I I finished it. So it's big enough to cover my four-year-old, who is a giant. But She's pretty big. This is Jordan that we're good, talking about, It's a guys. good lap blanket. It's, yes. I purposely made it ugly so that nobody else would mess with it. Unfortunately for me, my children love it. Yeah. And, you know, um, if you've been following me from the beginning, and now my newbies, I wanted to tell... I love doing granny squares or that stitch because um, it was the first stitch that I learned how to do when my mom taught me how to crochet. Um, and um, this past week, March 30th, was the 12th anniversary that she's been gone. And um, so I can't I can't really say that it was like a rough week for me, but it's, it's definitely... Um, uh, difficult. It's difficult. That's a good word. It's, you know, it's always difficult... Um, my mother was absolutely hands down, aside from my husband, my, you know, we talked about everything. Um, I called her all the time. We were like, oh my goodness. So they had a relationship so, like yeah. we have a relationship. Yeah. So it, it, it was just really, really neat. Um, the, the type of relationship that we had because, you know, we did a lot of stuff together, even though she was like 1300 miles away. I was, I've been living in the Midwest for like 24 years now. Um, and mom lived in Albuquerque. So, uh, we, you know, we talked on the phone all the time. Um, we did crocheting and we did, uh, sewing back and forth. So I would send her patterns because we, with my oldest daughter being a preemie, 
we started making stuff for preemies, uh, even burial gowns and things like that. And it was called, the charity was called Newborns in Need. And so we would do that uh, a lot of the time until she just got so sick that she just couldn't do it anymore. So um, it never gets easier for me, but I have such wonderful memories that um, it definitely helps. So, you know, <laughs> and and it's it's hard to describe unless you've actually been through a loss of your mom. Um, it's it's just something that I would never wish on anyone. Um, she was such a wonderful, vibrant part of my life. She was wonderful. And I absolutely can't believe it's been 12 years already. But, um, you know, it's nice to just kind of sit back and, and laugh and goof off and think of all the fun stuff that I, that I remember growing up, uh, when I was a kid and, you know, some of the goofy stuff she did, you know, uh, my mother didn't even weigh a hundred pounds when she wasn't pregnant. It was ridiculous. And I, so, you know, the, 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 the common thing for us to do was was to joke around whenever we were anywhere buying clothes because she was so dang little. And when I was growing up, um, she would have to go to the little girls department because they did not have women's clothing to fit her. The smalls just swam on her because she was so darn little. And she was only 5'2", so yeah, she was just a little thing. But I'll tell you what, don't cross her. <laughs> you know what they say about little women? Boy, she could beat the crap out of you if you if you crossed her or hurt her children. So, yeah. So it was it was pretty awesome. Well, best mom it, you could ever imagine. Let I'm me saying, tell you. Listen, the best part of the tradition here. Best part is best part, go ahead. Catfish, cornbread, catfish, and cornbread, cabbage, and cabbage and sweet tea. She loved best her sweet tea. Meal. Too sweet for me, but you know. <laughs> That southern tea, never, where you have tea sweet. with your sugar versus sugar, sugar with your tea, because tea, no. yeah, Mama liked it sweet. <laughs> she That's really, the really did. It. That's the southern side. But she's the reason I drink tea that like really dark. Like my husband, um, he does not like very strong tea at all. But he does. He doesn't like it really weak. So kind of in between. Man, the stronger and the darker tea, the better for me. I absolutely love it strong, like my coffee. So, yeah. um, and that was because of mom. <laughs> she was, yeah, so, it was crazy. Back to the blanket. <clears throat> back to the blanket, guys. See how we just kind of like, blanket. back to the blanket. Reeling it in. Reeling it in. Back All right. to the blanket. So, once upon a time, my mom made a granny square blanket. I did. And it was really, really pretty. And I don't Aww. think she realized that I stole it from her until recently. Oh, I knew you took it. Oh, yeah. Mom's I steal a lot of her things. A lot. Oh, yeah. She does that. So I have to show you, my daughter is very selfish. <laughs> she not only took my ugly blanket, but the blanket that I stole from my mom. <laughs> and she has got it on her bed. So this is one my mom made, and this is one I made. And oh, she apparently, just... she <laughs> she just had to have it. And I was like, well, can I have my blanket? No. Every time I crochet something, they think it's for them. I was like, is that for me? Or Jordan will go, Nana, it's so soft. Gotta watch her. Oh, yeah, she had that thing. <laughs> She's tricky. Uh, she'll, anyway. she'll rub it across her face. Anyway, me? yeah, so if, if, <laughs> I'm not editing any of this out. I mean, uh, I'm sorry. So um, if you, I would go, I would stop at maybe like 43 or 44 minutes in <laughs> if you don't want to listen to all this other stuff. But, but um, yeah, thanks, guys, for listening, for, for chatting with us. Thanks for... Um, for just being there for me, uh, I, you know, I'm just going to continue to do this because you guys have been extremely supportive and I appreciate it. Um, I wanted to do a shout out to, to Claudia at Crochet Luna. I am loving your podcast. I'm catching up on everything. You are absolutely, I just love you. You're so awesome. Um, so yeah, you guys have, I, like I said, I hope you guys had a wonderful Easter. Um, tomorrow I will be, um, announcing my giveaway, the, the conditions and what I will be giving away. All of that will be tomorrow. Um, did anything else? Thanks for prayer. Yes, definitely. Uh, I'm still very sore. There's some things I still got to get used to, uh, but I'm good. I'm here. Yeah. Um, so I, I appreciate that because I don't know any of you, and <laughs> the prayer is helping, so I appreciate that very much. And thanks yes. for allowing me to come in and interrupt your show. Yeah, so like I said, this is um, this might be something that we do once a month, once a week. I don't know. 
Um, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to introduce you guys to Amanda since everyone's was, you know, so sweet and concerned for her health. So thank you very much for that. You guys have a wonderful day. Well, right now it's about nine o'clock in the evening. So I'm getting ready to send her home to put the kids to bed oh, because her husband's bed probably bed wondering what she's doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's probably put them in bed already, huh? Bedtime is 8.15. Yeah, the alarm goes off. Bed. They better be in Bless the bed. their hearts. <laughs> so, so anyway, on that note, you guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for bringing me into your home and taking the time to listen to me. I appreciate it so much. Um, hi to all my fellow podcasters. I'm catching up on you guys this week. I had a busy week, but um, like Blue Cherub82, Kim, hi. Um, Terry at Yarn Joy, um, Holly. Um, oh my gosh, there's there's like so many that I'm, I really, really enjoy watching. Um, so thanks. I will see you when I see you. Happy hooking, guys.